Let me call an altar call. If you are here and you are battling with sin, run forward to accept Jesus to be our Lord and Savior. I'm waiting for you. Come now. You are battling with sin. Come. There's three kinds of sins. Yes, please, you can see that lady. Look what is happening to her. Help her. Yes. God bless you. Ah, she could just even stand this side. That's fine. Come. Three sins that I want to tell you. Number one, love of money. The sin. Love of money. The sin. Number two, check your marital problems. It's also sin. How do you solve those problems? It's sin. Marital problem, I mean adultery, fornication, is sin. Marital problem, I say, adultery, fornication, is sin. Check that. If you look around, you find that there is someone you love except your husband or your wife. You're a sinner. You're a sinner. The last one, unforgiveness. You see, these are the main ones that you must check. These are the main ones you have to check. Unforgiveness is sin. Someone hurt you, you are failing to forgive, your whole grudges, whatever, is sin. Unforgiveness is sin. Any grudge you have or being offended is sin. Remember that the reasons why you are offended is because you fail to forgive. People have to offend you, but be able to forgive. And those are the sins that are blocking people to be in stagnation. You are created to move forward. Those are the things that devil is using to stagnate your life. If you, if you want to be successful in life, do not be offended. They will offend you. When you are offended, forgive. Amen. If fornication, you are not married. Adultery, you are married. When you look at someone, say, I wish this person is my wife. Already you have sinned. Why this mind come to you? Don't look at someone and say, when you're a man, you can't look at that woman and say she's beautiful. How do you see that beauty? That man is handsome. How did you see that that man is handsome? You are sinning. It's sin. You must, there are certain things that you don't look people and you scrutinize them. You, you, you put them where you're not supposed to. If I look at this woman and say, this woman, she's beautiful. I've already seen it. When I look at this woman, I must see her as the wife of this man. But if I see her as a beautiful woman, it's sin. Because why do I see that she's beautiful? How come I say she's beautiful? For who? Because it's her husband that I must see that this woman is what? Beautiful. Eunice is beautiful for me. Cannot be beautiful for you. I'm sure you understand that. So there are some ways we cannot utter. Because when we look at people by how they are, we already make a judgment. So I'm very happy that you people came forward. And God is going to forgive your sin today. Let's clap hands for them. <laughs> Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands, you pray this prayer. Say, Father, I come to you. I come to in you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I'm a sinner. I am a sinner. Wash me today. Wash me today. 
with your precious blood with your precious blood make me clean make me clean with your precious blood with your precious blood make me your child today make me your child today in jesus name in jesus name i believe today i believe today you are my father you are my father and i'm your child and i'm your child i thank you for salvation i thank you for salvation in jesus name in jesus name amen amen, amen. congratulations stand there i want to pray for you lift up your hands i want to pray for you i release the grace to live a holy life to your life receive this grace amen receive this grace amen. receive this grace amen. receive the grace amen in jesus name amen congratulations where is sida sida thank you um, amen remember i was trying to tell you that we there are certain things that we are not aware of if i look at this girl this one is my daughter if i look at this girl and i see her she's beautiful i have already connected in the spirit with the hair and with the husband we are three the bible says those who are joined by god no man must do what put them asunder if now they are together like this they are bonds if i see that she is beautiful i already join the same bond we are three we are three in the spirit we are three Do you know that whatever you are doing on earth here you are writing in the spirit whatever you are doing here you are writing there so the moment when we become three here i've already committed adultery and separating the two the worst sin that you don't need to do is fornication and adultery because it's a sin of the blood number 1 is sin of the blood number 2 you sin by your body you sin by your body and your body is the temple of what of the holy spirit so remember that you are replacing your body you are destroying your own body you are destroying the temple do you know the, what the bible says it says whoever works against the holy spirit who will sin against the holy spirit will never be forgiven because when holy spirit want to come to you now he sees that sin if you want to be used by god there are some things that you must go away from you must go away from them number 1 love of money love of money if you want god to bless you love of money number 2 adultery or fornication number 3 unforgiveness if you are able to overcome these three you will live a holy life these three are a serious problem because all the time people will come to offend you you must forgive all the time people are passing in front of you you must know your focus you must understand your focus there was a time mama she used to tell me that hey, you pray for a lady like this who was wearing like this i say i didn't even see because when i'm coming here i don't even see what you are wearing i'm sure that's what i'm trying to say this is what jesus said If a rich man comes here you put him forward and a poor man you put him at the back you are judging is sin we are judging by differentiating people i can help this one i won't help this one i can speak with that one i want and the people you are denying them god want to show you them in spirit these people that are really offending you God want to tell you why they are offending you in spirit 
and you are brushing them aside like this, you find yourself in the physical. If you want to be in the spirit, are you hearing what I'm trying to say? These people who are offending you, these ones who are against you, love them. Just love those people.